<laughs> it doesn't have a name, it's just the tiger. <laughs> when you've got a thing like a tiger, it doesn't need another name, it's just the tiger. And this is a de Havilland tiger moth. This one was built in 1942, originally, as, uh, as part of a construction for the Royal Australian Air Force. Over many years it flew for the, for the Air Force until the end of the war. At the end of the war it was, uh, was sold off and never flew again until I bought it as a project in 2004 and over eight years had it rebuilt and in 2012 it was finished and has been in Mildura ever since. When I first got it, it was um, what they call a bare bones project. It, it was a steel frame and all the hardware which is just the nuts and bolts and bits and pieces and nothing else. So we built it up from that to, uh, to what it is today. So we were, all the wings are new, they're probably better than new. They've used better glues, laser cut ribs in the wings, but built it up basically from a bare bones project. So it's come from nothing to what it is now. <laughs> what can this plane do? Uh, well, this plane was uh, designed to train pilots during the Second World War. So very strong design. Certainly the wood, woodwork and fabric that's in the, this particular aeroplane is, is a rare talent that, that is, is becoming less and less in the aviation industry. I, I must admit I didn't do it, I had it done um, by the experts, I sort of leave some things to other people that know better than me. The parts are becoming less and less common, um, tiger moths are, uh, well this aeroplane is a building 42 so it's got, it, it's getting some age about it and uh, and consequently parts are getting hard to find, but they are available if you shop around and you can, uh, you can find them, or, but you've got to look around fairly hard to get them. This particular aeroplane was built on, in Australia for, under licence uh, from de Havilland, so it was built in Melbourne. And interestingly enough, the, the engine itself in this aeroplane was built by General Motors Holden and it was built in 42. And the first Holden motor car wasn't built till I think 48. So Holden was very active in the production area before the first motor cars were put in place. So. We've had a tremendous response to the Tiger. We've had people that, that from teenage kids right through to people that, you, that learned to fly in Tigers in the, in the war and they, you know, they've all got attachments to it and uh, when they see it fly and they get in it, they, it, it's a tremendous thing to be able to share with people. The budget, yeah, uh, well my, my idea of what it's worth and, and my wife's idea are two different things, uh, um, but she's happy for me to, uh, to keep, keep using it and uh, keep going down the, the project path, so it's, it's good fun. To be able to rebuild an aeroplane from nothing, um, from, from a box of bits and, and, and fly it away uh, is pretty special and, and, and we look at it, as a family business, we, we look at it uh, as being the, uh, the caretakers of the aeroplanes, if you like, in that we, we're only a small part of this aeroplane's life and it'll go on to someone else when we, don't, when, when we can't have it anymore and hopefully somebody else will take the care and put the attention to it that we have and, and it'll go on for as long as it can. <laughs>